Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on homeowner repair and I picked up this um, voltage detector so that I can test some outlets and wires that I need to do some electrical projects with. So how many times have you had like a home project where you needed to replace like an electrical outlet or maybe a smoke detector or something like that that was hardwired in, you shut the breaker off, you go back upstairs and you go to touch the wire and you get zapped because it's live. Now that happens, it typically isn't that much fun unless it's, unless it's one of your buddies. <laughs> but in all reality, you don't want to touch a live wire um, because it could hurt you and you know, if it's enough current, you could end up dead. So I picked this uh, detector up, voltage detector up from Lowe's and it's made by Southwire. So I'm gonna take it out of the package and I'm gonna check it out. So let's open this up and we'll put some batteries in. This one did come with batteries. And they're in the back. So it does take two AAA batteries. Take those out. Why do they have to wrap everything in these? So these are like the worst. I know what everybody's gonna say. Watch out for your fingers. Don't worry, I'm an old pro. All right, so let's rip that out of there. <laughs> and let's insert the batteries into this thing. All right, how do you open this up? I had to get the batteries in. It doesn't seem to twist. Oh. Aha, instructions. This should tell us how to put the batteries in. Let's see, who needs instructions anyway? Shouldn't be that hard to figure out. Oh yes. Battery replacement, here's how to do it. All right, so it says to push down here and pull here and the slides out, so, ah, there you go. And there's like a little anti-theft thing in here, I believe. So let's take this out of there. And the battery's going this way. Let's go like that. Put them in. Up oh, there it goes, and let's put this back on. Slide it into place. All right, so now what else does this little gadget do? Here's an on-off switch right there, and it lights up green. Green supposedly means there's no current; it's safe. Uh, it also has a little flashlight here, so you can see into dark spaces. So let's go try this out on an outlet and see what it does. All right. Okay, so let's turn this on, and we'll, I know that this outlet's live because I just had something in it. So I'll demonstrate on what the voltage detector does, and hopefully it'll work, and nothing bad will happen. There's one thing I like; it's a gadget. This is a pretty cool one. So all right, here we go. It goes nothing. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, it's red. So, good thing is I didn't get electrocuted, and it shows that's a live outlet, and it beeps. So now what you need to do is go turn this outlet off, and then you can come back up with the voltage detector and make sure that it's not live and it's safe to work on. Alright, so the next question is going to be, if I have to hook up a smoke alarm or something like that, can I test for a live wire? And let me see. Yep. This wire is live, and it's on a smoke alarm wire that I need to hook up. So yes, I can tell that it's live, and I'm going to go shut the circuit breaker off. Let's so shut that off. And I'll retest the wire, and it's good to go. It's shut down. So this is a great tool to have uh, or keep in your toolbox, and it'll save you quite a bit of aggravation. Wasn't that expensive? I think I had paid around 15 bucks for it at the time of the video. So what I'll do is I'll put a link to it in the description, and um, if you want to check it out, you can click over to it and check out all the details of it. I uh, hope you like you hope you liked the video, and uh, if you have any comments or questions, definitely leave one. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of cool stuff going on, and uh, you don't want to miss out. Take it easy.